Hi. I'm fat. <laughs> well, my phone is balancing on uh, my Yeti mug here, and I just thought, well, I'm going to do these Sunday Sudokus, and I do this almost every day. Um, and I don't know, last time I did this, it was probably like frustrating watch because I do things in a different order. Or sometimes, I don't know if I'm distracted by filming it. I'm not thinking as clearly about what I'm doing. But anyways, these ones, this is a really easy one. And I thought I'd more or less just talk through how, or like how I do it, I guess. Um, I'm no expert, but it's just something that's enjoyable. And if you've never done Sudoku before, then maybe this is like a how-to. How-to. Okay, so you probably know the rules. You need to have, every box needs to have digits one through nine without any repeats, and then every line has to have digits one through nine as well. And so we have to use those rules to figure out, to figure out what the missing numbers are. Now you can see this one is already like pretty full. There's a lot of numbers in it already. It's, it's called the easy one. Um, so you could go like square by square and kind of just try and start that way, but I like to just go by um, numbers, doing doing lines, I guess, lines and squares at the same time. So what I mean by that is like, I'm gonna start with ones, and I can see here, there's a one in this line, so that kind of blacks that out, and there's a one in this line. So we're gonna be solving the ones for this square over here. So those boxes are not one, and those boxes are not one, because you can see that one would blank that line out, and this one would blank that line out. So that means that the top little square here is absolutely a one. And we can do the same thing with the ones going down here. I like to go where there's, you know, more than one. So we're going to solve the one for this box. So those are not one, and those are not one. So this top one is. So let's take it, oh, well, let's do the one on the left here. So we just have, these are not one, and these are not one. And so it could be these two boxes, but there's a one over here. So it must be this one. And let's see if we can take that across. So we need a one in this square and in this square. So it's not on the bottom, it's not in the middle. So it could be either one of those two squares. And then here, down here, it could be either one of those two squares. So I'll just make a little note in the corner of those ones. So that's as far as I can get on the ones for now. These things usually solve themselves pretty quickly. So let's look at number two. So I see a two here, a two here. So it must be down at the bottom. There's a two there. So the corner is two. And let's see if we can bring that up to here. Those two could be twos. And are there any other twos? Well, let's just go where they cross over. So in the middle square, it's not along the bottom and it's not along the middle. So there are three options. If there are three options, I usually don't mark it yet. Well, only if I need to. I will usually just mark it if it's two, if they're in the same line as each other. Okay, where's another part with two uh, crossovers here and here? That's three options. And are there any... There's still too many options in the other ones for twos, so let's go to threes, which there's a lot of them already on, on this. So not there, not there, so that's a three. Not here, not here, so these two could be three. Should I mark that? No, not yet, because down here is a three. Oh, okay, so three and three is there. And then in here, three and three. And you can see that's kind of like a pair. So if it, this is a three, then that's a three. And then those aren't kind of crisscrosses. And then number fours, I'll go here at the top. That's not four, that's not four, so that is. See, this is probably getting full. That if you're looking at just lines, you might be like, oh, oh, or like a square that's just missing one. But I'm going to go through all of these numbers first. So there's all the fours, they were easy. 
and then the fives. Oh, there's only two fives on here. See, sometimes when I'm really tired, I have trouble seeing. <laughs> I'm glad I have my phone here because it's kind of like helping me. It's upping the contrast too for my paper. Oh, okay, so five, five. It could be here or here. I think I could probably solve that. Well, I mean, that could be a five as well. Well, this has to be five. Sorry, I skipped a step. I just wanted to finish that line. Which means that's five, which means that's two. Which means that is eight. It's too easy. Okay, so that's all done. <laughs> um, I was on fives, right? Well, okay, let's keep doing fives. So I put a five there. We can cross it. Oh, wait, that's five. So that means that's one and three. Um, which means that's one. So then we have five, five. That's five. And then that's five. And that's five. Good, okay, that's done. Oh, it's that one. Two. Two. Six. I guess we're on sixes, so I'll just do that. Nine. Six. Seven. Seven. Okay, so there's the easy. That's the easy one done. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, it has a neat little shape in it. <laughs> this one is the harder. So I was thinking a little design. Okay. So, I'm just crossing ones they crisscross here, so that's three options, and here it's the same thing. It's all in the corners, so I'm not really going to get anywhere with that. What about the twos? Two there or there? And the threes. Too many options. What about the fours? Yeah, there we go. What else can we solve with that one? There's those. Now here, okay, in this square, if I'm looking at the fours, like that, those bottom ones are not four, and this one here is not four. So there are two options here, but they're kind of diagonal. Usually I don't really like to mark that, but I think I will, just because... I like working things that are in a line because it comes useful, uh, it's useful later if I have like doubles that are like, a, could it be a pair? Um, then it makes it like it cancels out and I don't know how to describe that. Never mind. Um, anyways, these are two fours here. Do you see? So these ones are kind of, they're going to be dependent on this option and then and this option. Okay, and then fives. So because these two are only in the middle here, it's not down there and not there, I know that that's going to then block it out for this square, so it's not the top, it's not here, so it could be, it needs to be down here for those two fives options. Then it could be too many options there. But over here, oh, middle, middle, bottom, there's a five. And then this is five and five. 
here. Okay, let's check out our sixes. Too many. There's only two of them. So I can only you know, extrapolate there. Here it needs to be on the bottom. So that means this has to be six or six. I think that's all I can do. What about the sevens? Too many, and then, oh, there we go. And then already down there. And then eight. I mean, I could probably finish this, uh, this box. <laughs> yeah, oops, okay. There we go. Um... That helps. What number is I on? Eight. That needs to be nine, right? Because they're in the middle there. Okay, well, let's go over squares now. This is a little, I guess, a more methodical way. So in here, any of those could be one. I go to the box that has, like, the most filled. Um, so they could all still be one. They have a two there. This is three. Four, five... So six or one is what's in these. Six or one, six or one. Um, now I'm gonna look at this line. So we have those two have to, one of them has to be one in the line. Um, we need a two. So I think that's still could be two there or two there. So it's two or five, two or five. See so that kind of makes like a pair of things. So it must be one of one or each of these. One or the other, I mean. What about here? Oh. This line needs a one. I need this. There we go. And does that help somewhere else? Not exactly. Besides, I guess, here, then we have six or six. Which one should we do next? Let's do this box. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay, so those are all our options. So what's the one I didn't do? Is it twos? Yeah, okay, so this one could still be two, two, two there. Maybe I will mark that. Do you see how like, that's two? So none of those are two, and then across the top, but this could be two, this could be two, and that could be two. So if, if it wasn't, then I'd say, oh, that's three. Let's do this line. One and four. Good. Does that help? Yes, because that means that this is four, and that's not, and that this is four, and that's not. One, one, one. Two, do, do, do. Three, three, four, five. Could be anything, seven, eight. Eight.
Eat. Eat. That's good. Yeah, that is. Look. good. What's missing here? Two. Can I solve this now? One. This has to be three. Because it can't be there and it needs to be in this line. So this has to be nine. And that's not. We're almost done. Almost. Maybe I'll help you one. <laughs> Two. done too. Uh, should we go on to the last one? Excuse me. This is D. So it just might get messier. Okay, I hope I don't mess it up. Let's do the ones. The twos. Nothing. Three. Nothing. The fours. Wait, did I do that right in my head? No, I didn't. Hang on. I'm going to try to go too fast. Let's take your time, Catherine. It could be here or here, and then this one. It could be here or here. I just thought that five was in this line because I was trying to go too fast.
Oh, I got all the sixes. Seven. There's only one. Seven. So that won't really help too much. So I just can go seven, seven here. Oh, seven, seven here. Oh. So that means this is seven. Ooh. Too fast, Catherine. You're not reading. You're making a big mess. Eight. Nines. So that could only be nine or eight, so that means that this is a three. I do a nine yet? No, not really. Not one, it's not two, it's not three, could be four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, so that has to be four. Which means that's four or four, which means that's four or four. So this is one or seven up here. One or seven, one or seven. Let's do this whole box. One, one. Two, three. Four, four. Four, six. <sighs> so it can be any of them. This is eight, and this is three. Which means this is eight. In the middle. Okay, we'll get three.